Hello viewers, this is Herald Linea. Welcome to my playthrough of Dragon Quest V, Hand of the Heavenly Bride for Nintendo DS. So, I'm going to create a new adventure log. I haven't played on the emulator yet. And for this one, I'm going to name my little hero Madison. We'll see why in a few moments. The clock is ticking. Someone seems anxious. I understand your anxiety, Your Majesty. Truly I do. But might I suggest that you take a seat and try to relax? Humph. I suppose so. Uh, that didn't last long. Senor, King Pancras is a baby, a beautiful little baby. Oh my, bless the goddess. Oh, so he's a daddy now. Congratulations, King Pancras. You have a beautiful baby boy, Your Majesty. Excellent. Aw, darling. Yep, his queen is Maida. You did wonderfully, my dear. Just listen to him crying away, as strong as an ox. A child with this much character deserves to be named right away. Now, let's see. I know. Why don't we call him Erdrick? Not a bad name. What a lovely name. It makes him sound so heroic and wise. I had another idea of my own, though. I was thinking it might be nice to call him Madison. Madison, I'm not sure. Well, it's one of the names you would have suggested. But if that's the name you want, then that's the name he'll have. Dear son of ours, bestowed upon us by the grace of the benevolent goddess. From this day forth, you shall be known as Madison. Oh, Pancras, you really are. What's going on? Go, cough, cough. What's wrong, Maida? Hang in there. Goodness, what is it? Are you all right, my dear? What has happened to mommy? Something tells me we'll be spending much of the game trying to find out. And we get our title theme, Dragon Quest V, Hand of the Heavenly Bride.
Alrighty. Now we can officially get started. Oh. We're controlling this little kid. Ah, Madison, you're awake. So this is Madison. Hmm? A dream, you say? Of being in some kind of castle when you were a baby? Ha ha ha. Don't talk such nonsense, sleepyhead. I don't know, it seemed awfully real. Why don't you t have a little stroll about outside and blow the cobwebs away, eh? Alright, Daddy. So, here's Madison, Pancras's son. Starts at level one, obviously. And we have party chat in this game. I'll be in here. You go off and enjoy yourself. Alright, Daddy. And right off the bat, we find a medicinal herb. And a seed of resilience. Might as well use this on the little fellow right away. Oh, that's good. It goes up by three. Now let's check out these barrels. Like any good dragon quester. Then we'll go upstairs. And outside. And here's the wonderful ship theme. Among those barrels we get another medicinal herb. What's up, crewman? What is it, laddie? If it's the captain you're after, he's in the cabin there. Alright. Thank you, sir. Nothing in those barrels. What are you doing here? Not heading for the deluxe suite, I hope. I doubt Mr. Briscoletti would be best pleased if you went rummaging through his belongings while he was away. And who is this Mr. Briscoletti? Anything on the bookshelves? Uh, nothing of interest. Nice dining area. And up here we have living quarters. And another medicinal herb. We're getting flooded with the things. We gaze into the mirror. If he smiles, he doesn't actually look all that bad. A little balcony back here. So let's go back down to the main deck. Hello, helmsman. We'll be docking at Littlehaven before long. Not that there's much there to get excited about, mind you. The captain's cabin isn't there. You mustn't just go wandering in and out as you please, do you hear? If you want to go to the galley or the sailor's quarters, take the stairs just there and then go down the steps at the rear of the ship. Okay. Some more barrels. One with a TNT ticket. TNT is the name of Parcheesi in this game. Hello, Cook. Hello there, laddie. Feeling a bit peckish, are we? The food here's not bad, even if I do say so myself. I wonder who's the better cook, me or your pa? Oh, I wonder how long we've been sailing. So your father's traveling the world looking for something, eh? Well, I don't know what it is he's after, but I hope he manages to find it soon. Oh, me too. When I think of Pancras raising a small boy like you without your mother around... He's more of a man than I am, that's for sure. Oh, what has happened to Mama? And we get another TNT ticket. 
and another medicinal herb. And the treasure chests over here are all locked. Yep. Every last one of them, I think. Well, we won't be getting anything good from them. Now well, let's go see the captain. I'm Captain Blythe, and I'm the master of this ship, so I am. Your father was a big help to me many a time in the past, you know. Oh, so you know Daddy. The ship actually belongs to a chap called Rodrigo Briscoletti. It doesn't often carry regular passengers. This is a special voyage laid on just for your father. You make sure you do what he says, won't you, boy? You'll grow up to be a great man if you do. I hear that you and your father are traveling around together, just the two of you. That's nice. And here we have some bookshelves. Nothing of interest, though. More bookshelves. The Monster Book of Jokes. Let's see what's in it. What do you call a warthog who's always out to get you? A thwart hog. Unfortunately, Madison can't read and doesn't get the joke. Well, that's sad. Those drawers are empty. Gaze into the mirror. Donk, he gets a bit too close and bashes his head. He touches the mirror and leaves a very conspicuous fingerprint. Naughty, naughty. Grog. Hey, you didn't scream or nothing. Bit of an art nut, are ya? Gaze into the mirror again. Madison tries to make himself laugh by pulling a funny face. Well, wow, talk about feeling lonely. I guess he doesn't know many kids his age. We've made port, boys. Ah, land ho. Cast anchor! Lower the sails! So we're making landfall. Well, looks like some folks are waiting to get aboard. It looks like we've arrived. You couldn't go down below and give your father a shout, could you, boy? Sounds reasonable to me. And I will do that. First I'll see if anyone has anything new to say. If only I could own a big ship like the Blackjack here. I don't know why I'm telling you about that though. Like you could be of any help. Just ignore me. Well fine, adult. We're off to another port after this one. So this is where we'll bid you farewell. We seem to have arrived, and on time, thankfully. Hmm? Who's that standing at the port? Oh yes, I suppose this is the first time you and Pancras will have met him. That's the owner of this ship, Rodrigo Briscoletti. He's due to come aboard here and sail home. Seems to be traveling with a couple of young ladies. Take care, laddie. Just remember this, eh? Boys should never be screaming or crying, no matter what. You look after that father of yours, laddie. Well, let's go pick him up. 
just double check here. Make sure there isn't anything else that's not nailed down. So we've ducked at last. It must be two years now since we were last home at the village. You were so small when we left Madison that I doubt you remember it very well at all. Uh, so how old am I? Right then, ready for the off? Make sure you haven't left anything behind, won't you, son? Yep. I've already checked everywhere that can be checked. So let's go back up. It looks like it's time for us to bid each other farewell then, boy. Spare me a thought every once in a while, eh? Take care, laddie. You too. We'll be disembarking in a minute, Madison. Who's that there waiting to get on the ship, Captain? Ah, oh, Mr. Briscoletti. I hope you haven't been waiting too long. Whoa. You're in my way, old man. Well, how rude. And remember these girls' actions. Ah, oh, travelers, I see. I must apologize for my daughter's behavior. And here's the maestro of the vessel. Good to see you again, Mr. Briscoletti. Judging by the look on your face, I'd say you had a, an enjoyable trip. A smile shows a man is eating well. Now allow me to introduce my daughters. Or should I say daughter? One of them has rudely gone on ahead. Nera, come here to Papa. Oh, my poor Bambina. Is the step too high for you? Allow me to give you a hand, my dear. Thank you, sir. A traveler with manners. Good, good. Now, Nera, we've traveled further than a long piece of linguine. You must be exhausted. Be a good man and take Nera to my suite so she can get some rest, hmm? Right away, sir. So Nera is the more mannerly of the two. My apologies for holding you up, sir. Please, Terra Firma awaits you. Ha ha ha. I don't think I've ever seen Mr. Briscoletti look so happy. Anyway, it looks like it's time for us to bid each other farewell now, boy. Spare me a thought every once in a while, eh? Mr. Briscoletti may be rich, but it doesn't mean he's forgotten the important things in life. He's a good man, you know. His daughters will probably grow up to be the happiest girls in all the world. Well, we will see about that eventually. Dear me, I totally forgot to get everything clean and tidy. Look, this isn't an open house, you know. You can't just wander around like you own the place. That's my job. This is my room, got it? So you'd better leave, don't you think? Who are you? Oh, you're traveling around with your father? That's funny. I'm here with my father, too. And my sister. I'm a little bit scared of the sea. It's just so big. Well, it'll be alright. Anyway, in the next episode, we will make landfall. This is Hair Rotlinia. I would like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.